Now to Ukraine, where the military says it will review its claim to have killed the commander of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. Images of Viktor Sokolov have since emerged on Russian state TV, uh, appearing to show a meeting of uh, top Russian generals which took place this week. Ukraine had previously said it killed Sokolov and 33 others in a cruise missile attack on the fleet's headquarters on the Crimean Peninsula. Well, Mark Gagliotti from the School of Slavonic and East European Studies at UCL can help us unravel this mystery. Uh, he's author of Putin's War from Chechnya to Ukraine. Welcome to DW. Uh, what do you think has happened to Viktor Sokolov? I mean, look, the honest answer is, of course, I don't know. We, we've seen this footage, although it's footage that some people have suggested is either a fake or even that he's actually dead in it, since he doesn't say anything in this meeting. We honestly don't know. I mean, really, there's just two things that, that matter here. One is that clearly there is an information war also going on between Kyiv and Moscow. But also, it's the fact that whether they actually managed to kill Sokolov or not, the Ukrainians are demonstrating now that they can launch precision strikes right in the heart of the Russian military establishment in Crimea, despite what were meant to be impregnable defences. So how will Ukraine have established that Sokolov was dead in the first place? Well, look, if this is the case, then almost certainly this was based upon intelligence information, whether it's human intelligence, you know, actually informants on the ground who are saying there is this meeting going on. You know, the, the claim is, after all, that this was a gathering of senior officers within the Black Sea Fleet and the wider southern Russian command. Or else it could well have been electronic intelligence, because we know that particularly the United States and the United Kingdom have been providing a great deal of intelligence support to the Ukrainians, pinpointing exactly when there are going to be particular targets of notes and, and how to reach them. So, you know, one way or the other, the idea is that the Ukrainians would have got wind of the fact that there was a meeting and they launched some of their new British and French supplied storm shadow cruise missiles to very accurately pinpoint target the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet. And as you say, even if he's not dead, it might be a bit embarrassing for Kiev, but still a win taking out Russia's Black Sea Fleet headquarters. Exactly. I think this is obviously on one level, it's essentially symbolic, taking out a building. Um, you know, even if Sokolov is dead, someone else will step into his place and they, they'll use a different building. But again, I think in terms of doing two things, one is exactly showing that they can strike this building, but also creating the, the, the debate and the discussion. You know, the very fact that we are talking about whether or not they managed to kill the, the Admiral in charge of the Black Sea Fleet is precisely what they want to do, because at this point, with there still being a certain amount of uncertainty as to how far the Ukrainian counteroffensive will, will get before it probably bogs down in, in winter, the Ukrainians are also fighting a political struggle in the West to try and keep the West engaged. And to do that, they, they really want to keep the spotlight on their war and their achievements. And you touched on, on this idea that um, uh, this uh, attack uh, was organised with the help of, <coughs> excuse me, uh, UK and US uh, intelligence. So. Um, uh, Ukraine's allies are clearly doing more than just supplying uh, uh, missiles uh, and money. That intelligence is uh, being put to good use. Absolutely. I mean, when it comes down to it, obviously, you can provide all the kind of high-tech and modern military kit that you want. But for that to be used most effectively, you need to have the information as to where the targets are. And this is really the essence of 21st century warfare. It's not just about precision weapons. It's about the so-called ISR, the, basically the, the capacity to be able to know where the targets are. And we've seen a whole variety of, of very, very well-targeted Ukrainian attacks, including a recent uh, cruise missile attack, which actually managed to severely damage not just a ship, but also a submarine in Sevastopol dockyard all of which, frankly, show the hallmarks of exceedingly advanced intelligence capabilities that, although Ukraine clearly has its own intelligence services, are also provided by its Western supporters. Good talking to you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Mark Galliotti from UCL's School of Slavonic and East European Studies.